What is up, everyone? We are back. So now we're about to go do a test trip, right, Devin? Yeah, you cold? I'm chilling. My hair's right. wet because I just got out of the shower, so I'm a little cold. Okay, so basically we're gonna do a test trip. We gotta know the 60 to 130. We got we gotta test all this stuff and make sure, like, you know, it's boogieing. Um new tires are on. As you guys saw that. It still shakes. Does it? Yeah. Great. So my steering column's a little. Yeah. So um let's get into it. I'll record me doing some rips after I do like my actual rips. And um yeah. I'm gonna see what it does. Let's get into it. Let's start this bad girl out. Back in the shop, it is. Yeah. Right, Devin? Yeah, I gotta pull the valve covers off and see what's going on. Alright, so what's some key factors we could see what's the reason why I feel slow? Uh, it's either floating the valves or, or we have a, a lift or preload issue. Because. Because you said tune should is exact. Yeah, everything in the logs look great. It's definitely some sort of physical issue. It's making boost. It's, you know, everything else is fine. It's just, it doesn't seem to be making. The power and you know draggy showed that so um i'm thinking that one of the valves or a couple of the valves aren't closing all the way at high rpm and it's allowing cylinder pressure to leak right out the valve or right out the exhaust it's like when i was in the car i just didn't feel like i had some balls you know i felt it like you feel it and then like plateaus really early in the rpms like it should this bitch should fucking you know, I should feel it at all times, especially. Why, like, yeah. There's a good chance that it's why it's it spools so fast too. Like if it's leaking, if it's leaking cylinder pressure out the exhaust, that's why it spools turbo so fast. Mm -hmm. Which it kind of all makes sense. So I don't know. What's uh, so how would how would you adjust that? I'd need to put shorter push rods in it, which we have seven three seven fives. And we already did that on two of the cylinders because they were a little yeah. obvious. Yeah. But there's a good chance that all of them kind maybe of all of the I think they were the exhaust valves. Yeah, it was the exhaust valves. Yeah, so I, I there's a good chance that maybe the other six exhaust valves are all um in need of shorter push rods. A shorter push rod. Um I mean We'll see what it does, right? Yeah. I think we'll definitely be able to tell. If you we'll do. be able to tell for sure. I knew from the second I got it, it was like, this does not feel faster. It doesn't. No. Um, and definitely, like, it sounds weird up top, which is what, like, is kind of making me think that it's, it's, it's got to be valve train. It's got to be. Yeah. We'll see. Yes, sir. We will see. It is another day. We're back at the Power Line Performance Shop. As you guys see, Mr. Devin from Poverty Line Performance <laughs> bought himself a new vehicle, you know, pumping out all the business and pumping out these race cars. So, you know, he upgraded in life. Now he's driving an F450 Platinum. Yeah, this guy's rich as shit. I mean, he has a house, has his Corvette. So, uh, yeah, time to check out my car and see the update on that. I don't know if he was recording or not, but this is another customer's car. It just showed up for him to make fast. Yeah, so if anyone wants to run it, you know, what's up? All right, let's go check out the car. Boys and girls, put the lifters in. Any other big upgrades? They're push rods, not lifters. What? They're push rods, not lifters. Oh, yeah, yeah, push rods. Okay, time to start it.
Drive it up again, baby. We brought it to the shop and Devin went over the log. And what the log say, Devin? It was down like 20 pounds of fuel pressure. So I think it was just sucking air and that's what's causing it to go lean. And we were trying to compensate and it just wasn't doing it. So I think that that's what it was. Um, we'll put fuel in it, test it again, and we'll go from there. Stop zooming in on me. All right. So, uh, yeah, what he said, we need fuel. It was sucking air because it was going lead. Okay, time to start and get the hell out of this. fucking fast car in here. Okay, dude, thanks you got jerks. Jump, jump, jump. Right, I'm just gonna leave this here until uh, I get some E85. And, um, anyways, look at this fucking killer. Anything to say about this thing? Fucker. He's got the money to gap you, that's the difference. Yeah, okay, buddy. I'm not letting. 450 pulled up in before? Yeah, I'm not letting a uh, fucking Fox body gap me ever again, so. You want to know why I'm not? Because you're never going to race one. <laughs> See, he gets it. I'm just never going to race one. People are like, oh, yo, Nick, you're going to get gap. I mean, I still have to agree to race. So, like, that's, like, the side of it you guys are, don't understand. All right, guys. Now it's time to put some fuel into the car. Thank you, Tyler, for dropping off a five-gallon of E. Because I'm out of gas. Now I need to keep tuning it. So we're going to do that now. All right, guys. Let me warm up real quick. Just gonna grab the radar out of my Fiesta because I don't got time to get caught like if I cops in some test rooms. So uh just gonna grab that. Just more in the tune, if not figure out mechanically what's the issue. 